A very good evening to you on this 14th day of November 2024. Thank you very much for being a part of the Uganda Catholic Television. I am Sunday Gloria Abwatch with UCTV News. Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taibwa, has called for urgent revisions and updates to Uganda's data protection and privacy laws to address the challenges posed by rapidly advancing artificial intelligence, AI technology, and the exploitation of legal loopholes by scammers. Speaking at the Data Analytics, Artificial Intelligence, and Data Governance Symposium held at Speak Hotel in Kampala, Taibwa underscore the crucial role of data in informed decision making and emphasized the need for robust protections to safeguard citizens' information. Data has become a cornerstone of decision making, let it be from government to private sector. Data is data. These days I receive a happy birthday from banks. You know, I only receive a birthday and reminders of my own. When I pay, they don't thank me. When I pay my installment, they don't thank me. You remember that there is, I think it was which telecom, it had a very good message of when you could load, you know, the process of loading airtime. You know, they had a very smooth girl talking to you through how you can load airtime and all that. Then when you had no airtime and you're trying to call, you say, you don't have enough money to complete this call. A very tough man comes on. <laughs> but now they've leveraged them data to move and you had a data base of all our children who score aggregate four and five on primary and it's equivalent for international. Then aggregate eight and nine up to ten on all level, and maybe triple A's on A level and first class degrees, and second upper. Would you lack a pool of outsourcing the best brains to serve this country? Remember Bank of Uganda was doing it, everyone who could get a first class would go to work in the Bank of Uganda sometime back, would easily get a chance to work in Bank of Uganda. But now, average people are progressing uh, when excellent people are struggling. It's because we are not utilizing our data effectively to look out for the best brain. That's why we are having quack doctors. A doctor presents the same documents and he gets the license. He runs for 10 years. You know? As if we don't have data base of these Ugandans. Presenting exactly the same document. As if we cannot analyze the data we have and we raise red flags. As if after uploading the data, we sleep. That data is a product. And if you remember, and I'm very happy my president has come up with so much on the issue of data. These days he talks of Echivaro. In whatever you are doing, Echivaro. Calculation. And that tomorrow means data. You based on data. You calculate. You calculate. So I hope uh, we can do much. And I'm very happy that we started this conversation. And let it not stop here. Let's build on it. Let's ensure that it benefits our people. Uh, we now need to strengthen the legal regime. Of course, We've done so with the Data Protection Act, but I think we need to update it because it is evolving. The data is, is evolving. Systems for processing the data are evolving all the time. And I believe if we take advantage of technology, then, and AI especially, we shall be able to easily process this data and we save much more time in doing uh, other things. This fiber and all that, these are the enablers, and I'm really happy the government has put in place the infrastructure. 
Buganda Kingdom has acquired land in Nachisunga sub-county Mokono district for the construction of a value addition and coffee processing facility. This announcement has been made today at Bulange Mengo by the Kingdom's second Prime Minister and Finance Minister Robert Wagwan Sibibwa. Sibibwa states that the land has been allocated to Mwanyiterimba Limited for further development. He also shared that the Kingdom will increase funding for the Buganda Cultural and Development Foundation Bukadef to enhance the monitoring and promotion of coffee cultivation in Buganda, a role traditionally managed by the Uganda Coffee Development Authority. <laughs> Government ya sasa je gamba chi. Mwongere kulima mwanyi. Mwongere kukola chi. Aba mwongere yiba kukola. Aba kukola yiba kukola. Bali muka kodiyo. Batu jemu gendo kusali de mwanyi. Okuzi weta. Okuzi sunsula. Tude kuvoro ngoto yoyo. Gwe bali mu. Kubanga bala vye. Wali wogenda maso kwa mwanyi. Mukulima. No kutunde mwanyi. Government ya saba sajja. E saba abandu wa Uganda bonna. Ne Uganda. Mugende maso. Ngamuli me mwanyi. E mwanyi ya mwe. Ngamulunde nkoko. E mwanyi yo. E nkoko yo. E mbuzi yo. Banarogela yebogela na ibakula ibakula. Bagala kuba maramu mwanyi. Mudemu wavu. Na imu bereba gezi. Temu wongota, tuwa temuke. Guno mulembi, mutebi. Era, enteka teka baka ilichi. E genda kuongira manyi, mkulime mwanyi. E genda kuongira manyi, mkulime mwanyi. Nge kolachi, nge yongira manyi, mchitongole cha buka defu. E yuvu deo, babi vajewo, tulabenga buka defu. E chitongole cha waka baka, chibi kolachi, chibi tu ukiriza. Owaka waka mkenda kola chivu wa sabachi Mwongero mutindo kumwanyi Okuongero mutindo kumwanyi Siku zisi kabu sisi Abali mumwanyi mchimanyi Buonoge mwanyi nyengevu Nozi kaza buru unji Obo gato mutindo chi Kumwanyi Buonoge mbisi Obato gata mutindo chi Kumwanyi Buozani kakuchiwempe Oba kuruja ogato mutindo kumwanyi. Kubanga abazigula bagenda kuzirega bagamezi nochi nunji. Era abasunsule mwanyi. Empeke singa mwobu nene bakuwa beye yenkizo. Obo gaso mchi omutindo kumwanyi. Tuongere ogato mutindo kumwanyi. Obo waka waka bugenda kola chikwecho. Bugenda kuongera manye buka defu. Na ye bu, bufunye netaka Irali ya wele duwa mwanyiteri mba limited e Na chisu unga Weba gendo zimbe chuma E chisu nsule mwanyi Ne chisi kakawa Tugato mutindo kumwanyi Abe ruanya ruanya Abe yomba yombia Abe yogeza yogeza Mubaveko Mulime mwanyi Mugato mutindo kumwanyi Munye mwanyi Mutunde mwanyi E mwanyi jakuwa huu Tere agenda jitu wala siya abwe. Aba joge rako. Tiba ina wadomuti. Ogwe mwanyi muruja. Aba ntu wa Buganda. Tuwa tunake mwanyi. Kukumi satu kase. Sende zari ntono. Nituwa kukumi etano. Tutunze kukumtuwa lukumu echitundu. Neka mbabude mbulamu. Nga minister wa sawa sajo webi mfuna. E chinduwe chifu gobula mbuo mbuye na The sente zaaburi wo cash flow Sente zaaburi wo Mwena muze kwa mwena sente zaaburi wo Muto uro kulinya taxi Muto uro teka ama puta motoka Anaku so wavu Akuja kwa sente zaaburi wo cash flow E mwanyi newe gwe bayi Newe gula nkumi satu Obayo ne cash flow Newe gula nkumi tano Obayo ne cash flow Bale me bali mbali mbali 
lima overkedono, lima e, lisanyi, li, bagala baja ku cash flow. Obenga olilu kukupe olomba. Tumanjiba nafe, atatuwa na kufura nusu bitano. Muyugande eno. Ngebaje ni mamuwa nusu bitano. Na alonda. Kakati, abantu wa Buganda. Tuwereba gezi. Tetuwa kuchi, kumwanyi. Kabo gere, kaba kolechi, kagwa ke, ketonye. Tusegare kuchi, buwebu waka, buwebu waka waka. Thank you very much for watching UCTV News. We are going to take a break and we'll be back with more stories. Welcome back. You are watching UCTV News. And to continue with more stories, the Catholic Men's Guild CMG of Kampala Archdiocese is set uh, to celebrate its 29th anniversary with a gathering at Namugongo Catholic Shrine on Sunday, November 17, led by Dr. George William Sekanjako, CMG President, and guided by Chief Patron Archbishop Paul Semogere, the event will emphasize fraternity, faith, and empowerment. The Catholic Men's Guild, the unifying body for Catholic men aged 18 and above in Kampala Archdiocese, is marking its 29th anniversary with a grand celebration. Dr. George William Sikanjako, the president of the Men's Guild in Kampala Archdiocese, highlights more about what the Catholic Men's Guild is all about. But cardinal among them all is fraternity, brotherly life knowing one another, working together, oneness. So whichever aspects, oneness is critical because we believe together as one, we are stronger as a guild. We are privileged creation because we are men. But more times we fail to live by God's creation. The Catholic Men's Guild dedicated to strengthening Catholic men in faith and family values is driven by a commitment of fostering fraternity and spiritual growth. Among the key objectives are advocating for strong family life, upholding church teachings and promoting economic empowerment through network, business ventures and projects all aimed at empowering the Catholic man. Family life, we partake into the creation and we must develop and grow the future church children. Those who partake into the priesthood, the religious life, but also those of us who live into the community. We inculcate values of, of integrity, leadership, and responsibility. We are also having uh, objective number two specific is about fighting for the church. We are the ambassadors, the advocates of good practice. We stand for the church and we will defend the mother church in whatever cost. We use opportunities like this to inculcate values. Even to those that want to backstab the church, we fight for it. It is on us because it is mandated that we are, we are the first people to defend that church. The festivities will feature a holy mass alongside special presentations and activities uniting men from the 73 parishes across Kampala Archdiocese. On that day, we shall be celebrating as one family across the sub-parishes, parishes, vicariates, dinaries, under our chief patron, the Archbishop. The theme of the day is we the baptized Catholic men. Let us journey together in the participation in the mission. It is synonymous with the, this year's Archdiocese of Kampala theme, which was built on the synod, on the synodality. On that day, we shall be having presentations, but also the most important is the Holy Mass. It reflects and it gives us a new hope for the new year so that we can start afresh. Where we have failed, we shall account. But also what we need, we bring forth what we are going to talk about in the next year so people become aware of the programs and activities to run. The 29th anniversary celebrations will be under the guidance of His Grace the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Kampala, His Grace Paul Semogerere, who serves as the Guild's Chief Patron. This year's event will take place on Sunday, November the 17th at the Namugongo Catholic Shrines. Come we'll hear from the Bishop and come we'll hear from our leaders. We shall account and take stock of the successes and failures and forge the way forward for 2025. Together, we must reflect the true values of this guild, being witnesses of Christ, light to the light, to the world. 
So I urge you to come. I'm calling on Vicariates, Mitala Maria, Kampala, uh, Wakiso, and Entebbe to join. All parishes, please join us. See you there. It's time for Today in History. with the Rome reports. Thank you very much for watching UCTV News. I'm Sunday Gloria Abwatch. Have a very good evening. <laughs>